hello friends today we will talk about a very important chapter of this course is sensors and actuators analogy so what is the sensor and actuators analogy we take a, an example like the sensor is our microphone by the we recording this audio and controlling and amplifying unit is the our cpu and speakers provide you output as a you hearing this uh, this sound by the speaker so this is the input and output analogy we will use in the electronic circuits in further projects and also in our body uh, in our body we have a, some type of the sensors like uh, eye ear nose and tongue so this sensors pro, uh, provide some signals to the brain and brain interpret the signals and after they provide the signals to the actuators as the output like your hands and your mouth and your legs so actuators and sensor have a some type of the analogy and these uh, these are so now we learn about uh, sensor so sensor is a device that measure a physical quantity and converts into a signal and which can be read by observer and by an instrument like if we sensing the temperature by the temperature sensor so sense temperature sensor provide you temperature and according to the values of the temperature uh, an observer or any instrument uh, provide the output to the actuators like your AC so if the temperature high your AC is be on and your temperature is low or AC is be off so this is the this type of the analogy we will use as a sensor and actuators analogy so we will take an example to understand how to sensor work so in a mercury thermometer converts the major temperature into the expansion and contraction of a liquid so if the temperature is be high your exp uh, your liquid expansion and contraction is be varied according to the temperature so by this expansion and contraction of a liquid we can uh, read the value of the temperature on a glass tube and also in a video cameras and digital cameras we will use this type of the sensor for image recognition and image video recording and this is the photo of uh, sensor is the photo register so we will use this photo register in a further project and uh, after that we will going to the types of sensors so we have a two type of the sensors so first is the analog sensor and second one is digital sensor so you can see the graph of the analog sensor is a varied from 0 to infinite value but in the digital sensor the finite value of uh, the varied of the signal is 0 to the finite value like 0 to 1 and high or low so in digital we can use the values like high or low means your switch is be on or off nothing is be between on and off or 0 to 1 but in a analog sensor we have a very uh, many values between 0 to infinite values like if the, like a temperature temperature vary from 0 centigrade to 100 centigrade to 1000 centigrade so this is that uh, depend on the value of the temperature it is not depend on the finite value because we can take the continuous signal from 0 to infinite so it's vary according to the temperature after that we have uh, some example of the sensors like we have a uh, many type of the sensor in like electronics and we also use this type of the uh, sensor in a further projects like motion detector for motion detecting magnetometer bar uh, barometric pressure sensor accelerometer gyroscope sensor IR sensor, humidity sensor, magnet, read switch and force register and flux sensor and photo register. So we will use this uh, a photo register for understanding how sensor and actuator analogy work in a further project. So we will take a project is automatic brightness controller by photo register. So we will simulate this circuit on a Tinkercad circuit. So first of all, we go to the Tinkercad.